Apparently somebody wants to get the fuck out of here and get some more fish. Yeah, get some fish, which is his favorite dish. All right, all right, all right. The name of Jesus? Uh, how's that fish dinner? What in the Christ was that? I think it was one of those fucked up kids that like age like prematurely and shit. Oh shit, yeah, that was, that was oh, God. God damn it. Um yeah. <laughs> some fuck and I was looking at some shit last night with some more of the faces of meth. Ugh. These drugs are creating zombies and all sorts of shit like that, man. But, I mean, which one do you want to even start out with first, man? Well, um, yeah, let, let, let's head back to, to Facebook. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Amber. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, porn sent, star Amber. Yeah, right? and, 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 and Amber. appropriately sent me a, 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 a story about uh, a porn addict. Um, <laughs> this is fucking when ridiculous. You're dumber porn addicts, apparently. Um, Porn addict hospitalized after trapped giant eel gnaws through his night. <laughs> I'm trying that again. Hold on. Porn addict hospitalized after trapped giant eel gnaws through his digestive tract. <laughs> I mean, how fucking stupid. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot of entry points here. Yeah. Um, I had to throw on, one. Man, I had on. to I had to throw one in this guy's over there sleeping on the fucking Let me see. The guy missed the thing with the fish grease on his fucking hands. He missed the damn button. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Um, Morris the cat and shit. Once again, as I said last last week, you know, I watch all types of shit. And I've seen and it's mostly been chicks. Actually no, it's only been chicks. I've only seen chicks insert these creatures into their body. Wait a fucking second. You mean you've actually seen women put nothing this big? But eels, yes. Wow. Yeah. No, actually, no. Wasn't there some shit back in the days where people was putting snakes in there or some fucking crazy? Well, I know they fucked around with them. I never saw them actually insert a snake in there. But eels, I've seen eels. Why eels? I don't you know. Maybe it's like slippery. And, I, but I, I, I figure a snake and, you know, you just throw it in a fucking bucket listen, of Crisco. I'm and not get... a sick fuck. I don't know. I, I you know, I, yeah. this time I can't think like, you know, these maniacs. Uh, but um, so we... a, a Chinese porn addict is now recovering in the hospital after undergoing in, intensive in, surgery in... to extract a giant live eel that had gnawed its way up his digestive, <laughs> digestive tract. After he shoved it up his anus. <laughs> now, why did he have to write it like that? That's what he did. He inserted it's it. It's called accurate reporting. He inserted it. He shoved it up. So it's like he violently, come here, eel. Well, I'm guessing the eel didn't really want to go up So there. the eel is fighting, and he's fighting with the eel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a 39-year-old man from China's southeastern uh, Guangdong <laughs> province had reportedly rushed himself <laughs> to the local hospital. After his attempts to recreate a kinky scene he saw in a porn video went horribly wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he took himself to the hospital with this 20, at the hospital, but plead with medics to help save him from the 20 inch eel chewing up his intestines. So <laughs> this man went to the hospital with an eel inside of him completely chewing his way through him. <laughs> I, saw, I mean, I, I wish uh, this article described more of the agony and the pain because there must have been a lot of screaming involved in this, in this scenario. How did he get himself to the hospital? I mean, how did he concentrate? I mean, you've seen Alien and all that other stuff when the fucking <laughs> chest buster is inside these people. They don't look like they can do anything other than hold whatever body part and scream in fucking yeah, horror. Well, this is... This is <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for that. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you gotta have that finishing off piece where you get the last bit of air. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, they got something to fucking um, count and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna assume that, you know, this eel wasn't maybe as powerful or savage as a chest buster. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, <laughs> so it probably was taking him some time. Um, plus, it's dark in there. I, I mean, I don't know what, what eel's eyesights are like, but yeah, that's what was going on. But please, please help me. The eel is moving through my body. Uh, he said, according to the, <laughs> the son. After enduring all-night surgery, doctors successfully extracted a 20-inch Asian swamp, swamp eel, eel 
from the man's <laughs> part. So it's had to be a swampy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Um, probably was a murky swamp oh, eel at that. Swamp eel. According to the Huffington Post, the eel reportedly gnawed through the man's colon. Perforating his large intestine God. and becomes stuck in his body cavity. So the shit is literally just now in him. Yeah. yeah. That's the worst part about it. I mean, it's not, it's just now it's just operating in fucking space, free to chew on anything it feels <laughs> like chewing on. Not confined by the fucking intestines. It was alive when they got it out, but died soon afterwards. Poor eel. Poor eel. That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. They had no, they charge this bastard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Good for the son of a bitch. However, the nightmare isn't over for the 39-year-old porn addict. According to the son, a police spokesman said authorities plan to interview the man over alleged animal cruelty. That's right. Well, I mean, why should the eel... I mean, you, you kill the eel by putting the eel... And they said the eel was basically trying to escape. Yeah. The eel didn't want to be in this so, man's ass. <laughs> and this was the big deal back in the day. And I say back in the day because I don't hear about it. Who knows if it's still going on with what, the whole... The, the rats and gerbils Yeah, and the shit? gerbils and shit. Oh, that whole the, Richard Gere... Well, rumor from like yeah, 30, well, 40 years ago, yeah. But I mean, that was the whole deal. Like the, the squirming of these poor animals trying to get out of your your rectal cavity is what gave them these thrills and chills and shit. Uh, I believe that that's what I heard anyway. Why not just put a, a sack of jumping beans in your ass? Why do, would do you jumping wanna... beans actually jump? Well, actually, I understand. I thought they had like worms in them, so they would like rotate or flip or something like that, like little little maggots or larvae or something, yeah. and then they would like oh, flip over God. shit. Ill. But I mean, any, or put up. You know what? Put some coke and pop rocks in your ass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would be a seriously explosive situation. <laughs> or, or coke and Mentos, actually. And from the YouTube videos, that's an explosive situation. Uh, yeah, coke, coke and Mentos, coke and Alka-Seltzer. Uh, Alka-Seltzer, the big Alka-Seltzer biscuits. Uh, pop rocks, definitely, because I know somebody said they used to feed uh, geese alka sauce and watch them blow up or some stupid <laughs> shit but yeah i mean there's this in other words there's other things that you can put up there obviously that's not animal cruelty you want to put strange shit in your ass put these other things in it why do you have to involve an animal as trying to do whatever it is that it wants to do and a stupid human comes to take them for sexual pra sexual practices and the, the animal winds up dying because they're stupid humans you know, this should be a, a strong. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if disco dancer applies here. Uh, it's, um, yeah, I don't think it's a. Yeah, this is a fucking sick I would freak. Think so, I mean, anyone who inserts an eel in their in their asshole. But I mean, so I, be, I, I, I'm, to, I'm to assume that anything that goes in your ass indicates I mean, that you're homosexual. I mean, if if Dre told me, look. <laughs> <laughs> You know, at night when I go home, I stop off at the fish market. Yeah. Uh -huh. some eel in my ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> That's right, Every right. time I see Dre, I'm playing that sound effect. Yeah. It's, it's not like, you know, I got to I gotta go home and get the eel, right? The, the one shock in the tank, too, right? I got to have a special added attraction for my shit, right? But, yeah, I don't know if you can get swamp eel here in fucking America and shit. God. Um, well, uh, we we just have one more one more story uh, for well, you folks. I mean, this is just a stupid story. No, this no, okay. This story. Um, the reason I thought about the story is because you know, have you noticed there's been a lot of um, literature now, nonfiction on zombies, World War Z, uh, The Walking Dead, uh, countless video games on your phone, on your home system, all dealing with like. Um, humans in some form of, of zombie state, whether they were killed and brought back to life or uh, had some sort of terrible chemical reaction due to some disease or whatever resulted in you being some kind of wild, crazy zombie. And, you know, we, we touched upon, obviously, like everybody in America touched upon, you know, globally, the guy that ate the guy's face off in Florida from the bath salts, you know, uh, growling guttural, the other guy that they caught on the beach, uh, the woman uh, that flipped out when she took the drugs and chewed the fucking dude's dick and ran down the hallway, you know, smattered in blood and stuff like that. And uh, I'm thinking, is there some kind of correlation between whatever they're putting in these drugs today to specifically make people resemble like like zombies because it's not like these people have flipped out of there like like just going crazy in a and like a, just a haphazard way all of these people like get reduced to a guttural state like some kind of primal savage state like like i, I don't I, I don't know uh but it just seems to be odd that we're seeing a lot of these kind of cases this is another case it says a 16 year old on acid with superhuman strength spits blood on cops now, I don't know much about acid. I've never taken acid, but, and I've never heard anything quite, quite 
quite like this, and I don't know. Have you? Do you know anybody that's ever taken acid? No. I know one person that said they took it, and they didn't say they wanted to do anything like this. They said they were in, in control of themselves as far as and they knew who they were. They knew that they were human and so on and so right. forth. No, that's actually not true. I knew some guys who, who took acid. Um, okay. But one dude was a pharmacology student, so they actually, like, made enough acid to trip out and then go back to class like in the next hour or something. Okay, so it was but, 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 kind of a controlled situation. Yeah, so basically they didn't bust through the classroom door and start chewing <laughs> people's scalps and shit, right? Uh, negative. Yeah, no. see, so this story is from uh, the Marin Independent Journal. Uh, so, so apparently a group of mostly 16-year-olds in Marin County, California, uh, that's where George Lucas lives, were having an LSD party at an empty house owned by one of their parents. The full uh, ma uh, monsoon, in other words. One of them called the paramedics to report someone having a seizure. And when they showed up to the house, that's what it says. Southern Mar uh, Marin Fire Paramedics responded around 7.30 a.m. to a 911 call reporting a 16-year-old boy having a seizure at a residence. Uh, and it says, you know, in a situation where LSD gone bad. When the paramedics tried to get in, another 16-year-old boy at the entry gate covered with blood attacked them with what they later described as superhuman strength, refusing to let them in. Um, the deputies were confronted by other party goers, including a combative young girl, and called for backup. During the struggle, the boy spit blood on the responders, Pittman said. Uh, Mill Valley, uh, Tiburon, Central Marin, and California Highway Patrol officers responded and brought the situation under control. Uh, and this is what they were saying. They said, all points bulletin, bulletin. We've got a combative teen girl. We're going to need officers from at least four divisions. Because I, they, they felt that whatever super strength, wild, frenzy <laughs> condition these people were in, you know, <laughs> required more beef, more manpower. The first responders found about 10 party goers at the home, Pittman said. Some of them were also covered with blood from injuries uh, the 16-year-old uh, accidentally inflicted on himself while under the influence. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the story just goes on to explain how trying to subdue these, these teens, and, and, you know, I've always, always heard that crazy people were strong because somehow they activated, you know, muscles that we don't really use in, in our day-to-day -day life or whatever, some shit like that, but, the, like I said, how, how was it now true before the internet these stories might have taken place and it was probably you know relegated to the local newspaper or whatever but i mean the whole spitting blood going crazy berserk i know there was acid usage in my high school i know in college definitely i like i said i never did anything but i know dudes used to lick stamps and do all sorts of crazy shit like that they had like these other dudes i know they had like stars they look like the stars you get for being good in school when you were a kid and they would you know whatever and i don't recall hearing anything like this yeah but i don't think i right, so, uh, again so nope. i don't know enough about drugs but the whole thing about the superhuman strength you know, that's the thing, you know, the, the, the guy said he didn't tear, the, tear the, uh, the, the door off the squad car, but, you know, it was like basically <laughs> just like <laughs> took a lot to subdue this kid. And they said, and, and, and the guy, and the guy said, I'm still trying to decide whether a guy spinning in a circle vomiting blood on everyone else at the party makes a designer drug a failure or a wild success, one of these guys <laughs> said. You know, which is, you know, I, I guess, you know. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think that was just straight, you know, uh, acid. That's obviously yeah, so that's some what I'm saying. concoction. Something else is, yeah. it, 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 so that's, that's my point. What is in the drugs these days to make people eat people's faces, bite off dicks and run down the hallway, spit, you know, re, you know regurgitate blood into people's faces and, and become, you know, extremely strong for your, your eyes, si your, your age, size and weight. I mean, what, are, what, what is, like I said, I, I, the only reason I, I, I even thought about this is because I'm thinking of all of the zombie stories and zombie movies and different images we get of people in debilitated states with, with strength and determined and all this other kind of stuff. And, you know, like the, the, the bath salts guy, they kept shooting this guy. And it was like he wasn't even acknowledging being shot, like like the fucking Scarface at the end of uh, of the movie. Right, but you that know, that up on whatever, you know. So that, that, that's a stretch. That's a stretch. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I have the power of that fucking e man and shit, right? But I was like, was that was like that was that LSD back in the days, right? That's, well, no, that's what this was, the LSD. Well, yeah. Right. So I don't know. I I I I. I can't even begin to come up with, you know, even a concept of how turning people into zombies will benefit even 
shady government agencies I, I, or whatever. I, 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 now, I now, if I were of a conspiracy mindset, which I'm not necessarily, you know, if you have a bunch of wild motherfuckers running around and, and you know, uncontrollable like this, that would be a perfect reason to, you know, lock things down. Yeah, and but I would but want things locked down. To tell you the truth, if I had a bunch of a, a roving band of, of flesh eating savages. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. None of these is always like one or two people. It's yeah, never well, like well, it I mean, they could easily dump shit and uh, you know. It could be a test run. Who knows, man? It's like, a lot of test runs. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? But, but I'm, I'm serious. If someone were to tell me something like that, like you know, mm-hmm. like you know, the whole fluoride incidents back in the days when they were like dumbing te- people down with extreme doses of fluoride. I mean, that actually happened. So if they were actually dumping stuff, and they, they found pharmaceutical stuff in New York City water, uh, uh, tap water. Oh, sure. You know, so, you know, people dumping whatever antidepressants or whatever inside of New York City. You know, Google at you people inside of New York City water and, and water in other states. So it wouldn't surprise me. I'm not saying that that's what this is. I just said it's just, a, it's just an interesting uh, observation. One of those things that makes you go, hmm, you know, you know the correlation between this madness and all of the zombie shit that's, you know, mm-hmm. all out there in the marketplace. So, you know, whatever, man. Well, once again, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So where, 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 where can we be found, man? Why don't you tell us? I did it the first time. Then why don't you just let me do it and stop fucking asking the question? Because I wanted you, I wanted to say it, motherfucker. Well, fuck you. And don't say my part either. Suck my dick. That's not my part. That's Eat shit part. and die. <laughs> whatever, motherfucker. You people know the routine. Yeah. He wants to be belligerent. He can yeah. suck my ass. Yeah, whatever, man. Now, now, that's what to do with the eel. Read, uh, motherfucker. Read. Thank you for showing up, and we'll be back next week. Yeah, he's a fucking punk. And you could find us in all those other places that I said earlier. <laughs> <laughs>